Hey everybody, it's Marcia from Kansas Misfit. And it's Thursday. And Thursday is my exercise day, right? Well, everybody knows. I guess I get to walk around the chickens. Everybody knows that walking is exercise, right? Well, if I can walk around the chickens and get where I'm going. Yesterday, I planted cantaloupe, pumpkin, and watermelon out here in the field. So, today, I'm going to water it. And that's going to be my video. I don't know if the chickens will follow me all the way out there or not. But, that's my goal. Over here is the water uh, hydrant. Um, they ha I put that barrel there so we don't actually bump into it if we drive out here and have to replace it again. <laughs> chickens everywhere. <laughs> we wanted chickens, didn't we? You know why there's so many millers this year? Moths, butterflies, whatever. I thought my sprinkler was here. The reason there's so many moths and millers is to feed my chickens. Well, I don't know where the sprinkler is. Might be over here by the... We have our stock tanks I've been working on so I can plant my sweet potatoes here soon. And uh, maybe... I don't think it's over here. Uh, oh, I know where it might be. See, exercise is... Exercise is... Okay, walking is exercise. I don't think it's over here, but I'm going to look. You guys see it anywhere? It's a little. I don't think it's out here. I got finished filling this one up with wood. And then weeds and stuff. Top it up with dirt. And then that'll be ready to plant my asparagus in, or some of the asparagus. Let me go over here. I'm, we'll find it. I don't know where I laid it. I know I have two of them. I bought them cheap at Walmart. <laughs> Look at all those bugs hanging around there. <laughs> Chickens need to find it. Not on this pile. So I'll go over here where I'm gonna plant my three sisters and get the other one. Maybe the, maybe the one I lost will show up sometime today or sometime soon. I'm already winded. <laughs> so I walk over here and I'll get the one off the fence. Got a little bad boy here. My husband's been mowing the yard. I got see there's branches and stuff in here I can clean out and put into that stock tank. See this yellow thing right here? There's my other sprinkler. So we'll get it out. And I'll hook it on the end of the water hose. Continue my walk <laughs> out through the field. Where I have the watermelon and pumpkin and cantaloupe planted. Hook this on the end of it. Then we'll come back over here to the water hydrant and turn it on. And that'll be my video. <laughs> you can watch the chickens if you want. Isn't that beautiful? I think, well, they're all beautiful, but that's so beautiful. Now I've got a lot of work in the garden to do. It's been raining, which we need the rain to let the food grow. Hey, I've been eating salad from my garden, lettuce and spinach from the garden. Isn't that nice? So, yeah, I planted over on this side here, I planted cantaloupe. Over in that corner, I planted pumpkin. And all in here, I planted watermelon. And there's trash that still needs cleaned out, which I'll probably do that today. 
like I said, it's a lot of work when you have a huge garden. And a lot of this junk that's in here, I can put inside my stock tank if it's biodegradable and hook it up, I mean fill it up and then top it off with dirt and potting soil and, and compost stuff and then get it going. So um, we can have the sweet potatoes and asparagus. Asparagus won't be for a few years, but hey, once it comes in, we'll be happy. I found the end of the hose right here. So let me lay you down. You can watch me hook that up. Ah! Isn't that nice? I hope you can. Well, you can just watch me. We'll tighten this up on here. Now, lay it down. If I can get it to lay where it won't fall over. Right now it's cockeyed. There we go. Nope. There we go. Now I'll turn the water on and then I'll water this area. And that'll be my video. Oh, my, da my David's in here. <laughs> David's in here. I'm, I'm doing my video, honey. So, because walking is exercise, I'm doing a lot of walking. Yep. Couldn't find the sprinkler for my water hose so I had to get the one by the corn. Now I'm going to have to find the one that I lost to be able to water the corn. Seems like I've seen that thing somewhere. But right now I'm, I'm using the one for the corn and when we find the other one I can use it for uh, uh, the corn. <laughs> three sisters. I'm going to try my hardest to get the three sisters planted this weekend. But like I said, I'm going to get all this stuff out. Not the carpet. I don't think it's biodegradable. But I'll take it out and put it in the trash. But everything that can turn to dirt at a reasonable amount of time, I'm going to put into my stock tank and finish filling it up. Whew. A lot of work out here. He's drinking Mountain Dew. Yeah, you did. <laughs> So let's go turn the water on and let's see how good of a space it waters at one time. Look at the chickens again. Every time I come around, they come to me. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I just stand here for a few seconds. They come to me. They're looking for bug bugs. You can see the area that's not mowed and the area that is mowed, but they sure enjoy the area that's mowed to get all the gnats and whatever mosquitoes which are out and get them all um ate up <laughs> so i'll turn the water on here which is a chore in itself i don't think it should be that hard to turn on but it is Oh man. Okay, I guess it's all all the hard all the harder I can get it. There we go, now I got it on. Now let's go see how far the water Oh I got a leak right there. So I gotta turn the water off and fix that before I can water the field. Oh, man Isn't that nice? You think you got everything ready, and then it does this to you. Maybe there is a leak in that new in that hose we just got. I don't know. But it's right around here. Well, this is my hose. Well, why would it be? It's got a split in it. He got it with the lawnmower. After all, well, 
you saw the exercise I got. I hope you enjoyed the video. I got work on the I got work on the water hose in order to water the watermelon. Pumpkin and cantaloupe. So have a wonderful day today, guys. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. Ta-ta.